Hello, my high school students. It's Miss Rebecca. This week, we are going to be looking at texture and learning about the element of art that has to do with the feeling of a piece of art. What does it feel like? Is it hard? Is it smooth? Is it soft? Is it fuzzy? Is it hairy? These are all textures and these are words that describe texture. So this week, you're gonna be creating your very own textures using things that you find around the house. Come on, let's try. Okay, so this is what we're going to need to make a texture project using homemade Play-Doh. So we're gonna make our own Play-Doh today and then create some textures with it. What you need is a bowl, you need flour, you need salt, you need water, and you need a measuring cup, okay? So what it is is, you take your flour. I'm, oh, I just got this flour, so I'm opening it up, and I'm gonna take one cup of flour. Whoa! I'm gonna take one cup of flour, and I'm gonna put it in my bowl, okay? Put the flour aside, you don't need it anymore. Then here's your salt. For your salt, you only need a half a cup of salt. So this is one cup, I'm just gonna fill it halfway. I'm not gonna try to be perfect. Okay. So I'm just basically gonna fill up half of this with salt. Ooh, so I have one cup of flour and a half a cup of salt. Boop. All right, now we have to mix this up. So I'm just gonna, you could use a spoon. Just mix up the salt and the flour. Do, 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 mix it up, mix it up. And then you need a half a cup of water. So it's one cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, and a half a cup of water. Okay, now you're gonna stir this up and it's gonna get, it's gonna get thick. Okay, now it should get pretty thick. So once you get your Play-Doh, it should not be too sticky, so it's not gonna stick to your hands. If it's still sticking to your hands and it's not like Play-Doh, just add a little more flour to it to dry it out a little more, okay? Now, what I want you to do is take your hands flat like this and roll, whoa, <laughs> roll a nice ball shape, okay? And this week is all about texture. So there's a lot of ways you can make texture using Play-Doh. So once you make your ball shape, I'm gonna set my bowl aside. Making a ball shape, I'm gonna flatten it. So take, my, take my hands and just flatten it like a pancake, okay? And now we're gonna play around with some, make, creating some textures. Texture is the way something feels. This Play-Doh's feeling a little sticky to me, but, whoa! a little sticky but I think we can make it work so I'm gonna lay it flat like that and now let's find some things that we could press into it to make textures look at that if you have Legos at home Legos are a great way to create textures whoa it. I have to start this over. I'm sorry. This, right. this Play-Doh is not, not working. Just keep talking. All right. I also have to cut it up. Just make sure I can see it. You got to back that part. Just talk about what you're doing. Okay. So right now I'm just making my Play-Doh. I combined my flour and my salt and my water and I'm just using my hands and I'm mushing it and squeezing it so that it's not too sticky. Now this is what you're going to have to do at home until it gets to the point where it's not sticking to your hands. 
you know, you might have like powder on your hands, but it's just flour and salt, so it's okay. You can always wash your hands later, but you want it to a point where everything's all mixed together. Now take a little piece off, because you don't, you probably won't have as much as I do, because I, I made a lot of Play-Doh. Now we're going to make some textures using Play-Doh. So roll, roll yourself a nice ball. How do we do that? You take your hands flat like this and you make like a choo-choo train motion. Choo-choo, just like that. Rolling the ball. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but sphere. Now flatten it down. Just press your hand down and we're going to make ourselves a nice area where we can make different textures by pressing objects into the Play-Doh. So let's make ourselves a nice area where we can print by pressing things that have a lot of texture. Notice that this Lego has bumps on it and ridges. The way it feels is its texture. You can make textures in your Play-Doh by pressing the object and then lifting it up. Pressing the object, or even if you just want to tap it lightly. If you press too hard, you're going to run into trouble. So I'm kind of just like tapping it and then pulling it off. Do you see those marks that it makes in, in the Play-Doh? Those marks, is that's the texture. Okay, what if I take a leaf from outside and I pressed it in there, what would happen? Tap, tap, and I pull it up. Whoa, look at that, the way it feels. That's the texture. If I just find some coins and press those coins in, tap, tap, I pull it back up, and you can see the impression or the mark that it made in the Play-Doh. And that is texture. What else could we use? We could use, whoa, this comb. What if I just press this in there? What would happen? Ooh. Oh, that made a nice texture. Look at that, it's so, it's so bumpy. I like that. So what you have to do is go around and find things that you could press into your Play-Doh. Look at this. What would happen if I do that? Oh, look at that. It makes like a star. This is something I found in the kitchen. What if I use this weird thing I found in the kitchen? Pressing that in there. Whoa! That made a really nice texture. So I would love to see how you guys did with making Play-Doh and with creating some textures of your own. If you leave this out to dry, it will dry within a week. <laughs> That's how long it will take this Play-Doh to dry. But it will dry and it will dry hard and you can paint this if you want to. But this is an example of how you can make textures by pressing objects into Play-Doh. I'd love to see what you guys come up with and what you find at home. Post your results on Google Classroom.